what's up you guys? It's Judy here with my life as Geek Eye. On this channel, I create videos on product reviews, makeup tutorials, and lifestyle advice with the aim to entertain, educate, and enrich the lives of others. So if you're new here, please consider subscribing. I would love for you to join the Geek Eye family. And if you're returning here on my channel, then welcome back. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about the Juvia's Place highlighters. I have two of their pressed ones and four of their loose pigment ones. I did buy all of these products myself. I know I talk about Juvia's Place a lot on my channel, but that's just because I'm entirely obsessed with this brand. Not sponsored, not sent these products at all in PR. I bought every single one of these products and every other Juvia's Place product that I mentioned on my channel, I bought every single one of these things myself. So yeah, in today's video, I'm going to be talking about their pressed and loose highlighters. I don't have their absolute latest ones that they have released because I do believe they've just released another few two or three pressed highlighters I think but um, today I'm going to be talking about the Heroine Glow 1, the Heroine Glow 2, the Nubian Loose and the Royalty Loose highlighters. So yeah, if you want to see the highlighters that I have from Juvia's Place, then just keep on watching. Before I go any further, if you guys do enjoy my content, then you know what to do. Please sure to give the video a thumbs up and subscribe before you leave if you haven't already. I do put new videos out every Monday, Wednesday and Friday, three times a week, so you can turn on the notification bell if you don't want to miss any of my future uploads. You can also follow me on my social media, Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. All of them are Life as Geek Eye. And without further ado, let's just get straight into this video. Okay, it's not going to be a very long one because obviously I only have six highlighters and I've already talked about these highlighters very briefly in my highlighter collection video which I'm not sure if it's up yet but if it is, I will leave it in the description box down below. I touched briefly on the Heroine Glow 1 and the Heroine Glow 2. These are what they look like. Look how glossy and pretty and gorgeous these boxes are. Oh my goodness. So pretty. This one is the Heroine Glow 1. It comes in the box like this and it comes out in a little sort of cardboard box like this. It is a little bit bulky. This is the only complaint I have about this. Like I would love if they came out with their pressed highlighters in a format similar to their blushes. This one is their blush in Serafina. I would love if their pressed highlighters came out in little boxes like this instead of big bulky boxes like this. So the packaging is the only complaint I have about these. But look at how gorgeous it looks on the inside. It's a gorgeous goldy shift sort of highlight. I'm gonna do some swatches as well. So that is the Heroine Glow number one. The next one is the Heroine Glow number two. And this one comes in the same kind of box as the first one. Again, bulky packaging, but look at it on the inside. Look how pretty this is. It has that same pattern on the inside, but on the actual highlight itself, it has like a pattern over the top of it. I'm not sure if that's just an overspray, but I'm going to swatch it and we will find out. Okay, so it's a darker highlighter than the first one, more suited to the deeper, darker skin tones. It has a pink bronzy shift to it, whereas this one is a more of a golden shift. That one's probably not really showing up on my skin simply because it is a lot closer to my skin tone than this one is, but it does have a fair bit of shine there. What I love about these pressed Juvia's Place highlighters is it's not a glittery, chunky type of highlight. When you apply it and blend it on the skin, it is such a just nice sheen and a nice glow, and you cannot go wrong with shimmers in the Juvia's Place realm. They are just so freaking good. The next highlighters I have to talk about are the Nubian Loose Highlighters. This one is in the shade Nubia and this one is in the shade Neferiti and I do believe they have eyeshadows in those same shades as well so it's really nice that they've come out with the same name but in a highlighter if that makes any sense. So this one's Nubia. I'm going to end up with highlighter everywhere. This is such a gorgeous bronzy one. I'm gonna turn the light down so maybe you can see a bit better. Can you see? Probably can't see. Swatching these is probably quite pointless because the camera never does the actual beauty of the product justice. So I'm just gonna show you close up of what they look like in the pan. That one's pretty. Love this one, look at that. Oh my goodness, so pretty. So freaking pretty! That one's in the shade Nubia, and this one is Neferiti. I believe I have used this one before, possibly. Actually, no, I lied, I haven't. I'm gonna tip some of it into my hand. This is what it looks like in the pan. It's more of a peachy golden type of shade. Not as dark as Nubia. And I'm gonna apply some here, because... 
<gasps> oh my gosh, look at that. Oh my goodness, that is gorgeous. <laughs> Oh my goodness, it's just so beautiful all over the body. That is like my perfect highlight shade. I love it. Oh, look at my hands now. I'm in highlight heaven. <laughs> oh, and by the way, it comes like in a little package like this. The lid is a beautiful red plastic one. It says Juvia's Place on it. And that's what the container looks like. The next one is the Royalty One Loose Highlighter. Again, same kind of box, same kind of container. Royalty One. This one I have used before as an all over body shimmer. As you can see, it's quite messy, but that's because I applied it as an all over body shimmer. What I did was I applied lotion on my skin and then applied this over the top and it gave me such a beautiful beachy sort of glow. I'm gonna take some of this on my shoulder. Oh, so pretty. See, can you see that? It's just such a pretty shade. It's a beautiful bronzy gold type of highlighter as well and it just works so perfectly. All of Juvia's Place highlighters just work so beautifully on the deeper, darker skin tone. Look at this. Like, I obviously have tan skin. I feel like J.Lo. Oh my goodness. I love, I love, 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 love these loose highlighters. This one was the Royalty 1. And last but not least, this one is Royalty 2. Let's just have a little bit of a swatch of Rue and see what it looks like. That's what it looks like in the pan. It looks quite similar to Neferiti, but uh, I think just a little bit darker and more of a gold rather than a peach undertone. Um, where am I gonna apply this? Where am I gonna apply this? Let's just put it here. Okay, now that is beauty. That is J.Lo. That is, oh my goodness me. That is so so pretty. Okay, loving it. Loving it. I guess that's it for this video, you guys. That was the last one I had to share. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up and subscribe before you leave if you haven't already. Let me know in the comments down below if you've tried any of these Juvia's Place highlighters. Do you love them? Do you hate them? Do you prefer pressed over loose highlighters? I know I prefer pressed highlighters over loose. They're just not as messy and difficult to use. But when it comes to loose highlighters, I just prefer to use them as an all over body sort of shimmer. And that is why I love the summer. I love the warm weather because you can wear tank tops and short shorts and apply loose highlighters like this all over the body. So yes, I do apologize I've been, if I've been looking in my viewfinder for the majority of this video because I want to see how it's glowing and showing up on camera and yeah I'm gonna go wash my hands you guys know what to do hit the thumbs up subscribe before you leave if you haven't already you can also follow me on my social media Facebook Instagram and Twitter all of them are live as geek guy again thank you guys so much for watching thank you for being here and I really appreciate that you've chosen to spend your time here with me today thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video bye <laughs> So freaking pretty! That is gorgeous. Gorgeous? What? No. My goodness. So pretty. My hands look like JLo embodied. <laughs>